Here's another view head on of this elaborate doorway leading into the Aurea Epigathiana, announcing with the inscription uh, exactly where you are and what this building was used for in antiquity. A detail of the pediment uh, where we can see the inscription. We can also see the capitals, the use of stucco work here, and the very elaborate uh, work that they have done to decorate the pediment above. Uh, just a few more details of the columns where you can see even better uh, this capital and the way in which they have used brick. They have used brick for the, even for the acanthus leaves. You can see that there are acanthus leaves here. This is actually an example, one of the few we've seen of the composite capital with the acanthus leaves of the Corinthian and the volutes of the Ionic. We saw it on the Arch of Titus in Rome. Uh, but here we see that they've used brick, and then only at the uppermost part where the leaf has to curve over uh, do they add the stucco. So um, tremendous, and this is just a warehouse, and yet a tremendous amount of effort has gone uh, into making it an extraordinarily beautiful building. And it shows again that they are absolutely going over the top uh, in terms of, their, of, of being enamored of what they can do with brick facing that they are now able to expose. Once they can expose it, they're much more willing to put the effort into it. <laughs> Uh, to make it really attractive.